Hi guys, it's Mia and I graduated high school. A few days before the ceremony, I wanted to decorate my graduation cap and of course I wanted it to be Sharpay Evans inspired. Congratulations, Miss Sharpay Evans, University of Albuquerque Performing Arts. Sharpay has always been a really influential character for me, so of course I wanted to base my graduation cap off of her. I got the sequins and glitter paper from Michaels. Then I copied the design, just switching out her initials for mine. I used an X-Acto knife to cut through the sequins and super glue to paste on the letters. Overall, the project took around two days and I'm really proud of the final result. The class of 2024 at Riverdale Ridge High School graduated on May 20th, 2024 at the CU Boulder Event Center. My favorite part about the way my school does graduation is that instead of sitting in alphabetical order, you end up sitting beside your advisory class. You begin your freshman year with this class and end your senior year with the same class. During these four years, my class especially grew really close. So with our classmate Grace, we decided to plan a little surprise during the ceremony. You are <laughs> the one Finally, after a long wait, it was our turn to walk up on stage. And we were all so nervous, but also excited for the new chapters of our lives that were about to begin. Throughout these past four years, we've all had a lot of ups and downs, but now all of our hard work was finally paying off. And as we all go our separate ways, I'll never forget this class and the days we spent playing Uno and makeshift ping pong. We've made so many memories and I'm forever grateful. Mia. On Sugihara. Pass this down, guys. Well, uh, well hi, everybody. <laughs> huh? Take it, pass it down. <laughs> hey, yo. What are we doing? I don't know. Oh, okay. okay. What's up guys? This is the end, so we're gonna go back. Hey, I just did that shit, bro. We did it. Let's go. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2024. On the count of three, you may toss your hats. One, two, three, congratulations! That weekend, I had my grad party, which was a mix between Lao and American culture. It was hosted at my temple and took many, many months of planning. I decorated my own envelope box, and for the beginning of the party, which was the ceremony part, I got to wear a traditional sin in the color pink. I do have to give my parents a special thanks for helping organize this party and being the reason behind it. While decorating, I had to show off some Trojan pride. We spent the entire day before decorating, and I think the place came together really nicely. The golden balloons are from Party City, and almost everything on this dessert table was homemade. There is an exception for the cupcakes, we try to make our own cupcakes but they all got burnt. And then all the rock candies and chocolates are from Party City. Round of applause for my mom and aunt who made everything else on this beautiful dessert table. I made sure both Lao and American music was played during the party. And I booked a photo booth to make the party even more fun. This handcrafted flower arrangement that you can see here was for my Sue Kwan. 
which was a blessing ceremony that took place before my actual party. I also want to give a special thanks to all my extended family who helped out. All of my aunties cooked the amazing traditional food that everybody loved. We had a bunch of food like egg rolls, fried rice, sticky rice, chicken, and it was all delicious. One of my aunt's friends made this incredible fruit arrangement that almost looked too good to eat. And my cousin Mickey was the DJ. Hey. Overall, I am so proud of myself for completing this milestone, and I'm so happy I got to spend this time with my friends and family, and I can't wait to see where the future takes me next.